This American ivory trade investigator was murdered at his home in Nairobi. Esmond Bradley Martin was known for his undercover work on documenting the illegal sale of ivory and was writing a report on Asia's influence on the ivory trade when he was killed. His death has shocked conservationists around the world. Police suspect he could have been murdered for taking on poachers and traffickers. But being murdered for defending the environment is more common than you'd think. Last year, 174 people, almost four a week, were murdered around the world for defending land, wildlife or natural resources. Watchdogs say the killing of people defending the environment has increased fourfold since 2002. But why are these environmental defenders being murdered? The short answer is industries. Industries like agribusiness, mining, logging, poaching, and access to water and dams. As the global economy, driven by consumption, expands, the scramble for resources has intensified. Industries and governments are willing to kill for access to natural resources and are pushing deeper into indigenous lands. So, where are these murders taking place? Latin America is the most deadly region in the world for activists. Brazil has recorded the highest number of murders. Almost 150 people have lost their lives in the last three years while defending the Amazon. In Africa, poaching and the illegal wildlife trade is claiming the lives of park rangers and conservationists. The worst place in Asia for environmentalists is the Philippines, followed by India. But who is actually killing the environmental defenders? Corporate security guards, police, or military and assassins who are often hired by businessmen or politicians. Justice for the murders is rare, and perpetrators are almost never held to account. Most of the victims come from poor indigenous communities. Global Witness believes that many more murders go unreported, and defenders of the environment continue to be beaten, criminalized, and threatened around the world. I think that there is no justice. The justice is of the powerful, of those who have money, 